Yeah, yeah, you know exactly. I mean? You know, what I, mean? I I did it because you know I felt like it one day. You like it? Who gives a fuck? Exactly. I saw my brother have it, and I kind of was like, "Damn, that's that's pretty cool." Uh, <laughs> yeah. And then I just decided to get it. But long story short, uh, let me get to the uh, the part where I I could understand why being pretty is a little tough. All right. <laughs> And only one aspect of it is it's a whole laundry list of whatever it is. But in my case, I went to a gay bar, all right? And this is with Corey because, um, you know, he has a like performance. He was in main headline. And um, it was amazing. I'm not going to lie. It was amazing. The vibes were amazing. And one funny thing is, is that, you know, going to a regular club, uh, when you go in and you get deep and it gets really steamy and hot, like, it kind of smells bad at a regular club, but at a gay club, <laughs> I'm not going to lie. Like, everyone has on good perfume. <laughs> so, you know, it smells good. Um, but moving forward, like, we were actually uh, watching these male strippers dance. And, you know, I'm just chilling there and whatever. And um, this guy on the side of me comes to me and is like, oh, hey, what's up, blah, blah, blah. I don't, I don't know what he said, but because um, the music was kind of loud. And uh, there was like, oh, oh, because they were performing. And uh, he puts his hand on my back and I'm like, you know, I'm trying to be kind. You know, I'm not trying to like push him off and like make some kind of weird sudden movement or whatever it is. But he put his hand on my back and then, you know, he <laughs> used his pinky to like, s you know, sneak into <laughs> my belt. And then like my belt wasn't strong enough to like, you know what I mean? He just slides it in there. And then I'm like, oh, no, no, I'm straight. I'm straight. He didn't hear me. He didn't hear me the first time. And then uh, he put his hand on my back again. This happened twice, by the way. Okay, this happened twice. <laughs> in, that same, in that same moment. And uh, he put his hand again. I was like, no, 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 I'm straight, I'm straight. And uh, the words he said was like, oh, are you afraid you might like it? Oh, fuck. I'm like, geez. I'm like, no. <laughs> and then I'm like, no, no, no. But then he kept like, pursuing and then i'm like okay maybe if i say yes i'm like okay yes i'm afraid if i like it you uh, said that yeah i did and then um <laughs> uh, <laughs> no just just to like you know get him off here, yeah right? exactly it just uh, means to an end so um <clears throat> then after that um he he go he gets mad and like starts telling everybody that oh he's straight don't 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 touch him or whatever it is and then he walks off. He, like, I think sarcastically tells me, I'm going to get you a drink, then walks away. Doesn't come back, but, like, you know, it's whatever. It's understandable. That's the perspective that I finally actually got. Like, okay, so imagine if I was a woman, okay? I could understand now, all right? I all understand right. <laughs> how, you know, beauty is hard. I don't think that I'm beautiful. I mean, huh. I mean the beauty is not the beholder, you know what I mean? But... Yeah, so you know, being beautiful is, I guess, hard. Is that the reason? I'm, not, is, I'm sorry. Is the yeah. reason why women go to gay clubs all the time is so that they don't get hit on? So you can like go I hang out so. with your friends. Personally, and... I've never been to one. Really? Yeah, but I <laughs> feel like I would go. Like a lot of girls go to gay clubs. Yeah, yeah. you know, and I, I feel don't... like they're just more fun. Maybe. I mean, I never been, so I can't really. Yeah, say. you know, um, there was there are a lot of straight girls there too. Yeah. And uh, it turns out that a lot of male servers are straight. What? Yeah, crazy. Fun fact. Wow. That's right. A lot of male strippers are straight. So what I noticed is that there's these two girls that I was with at, um, on the on site, and uh, they were the dancers. They were uh, back uh, Corey's backup dancers. They were beautiful. And uh, when they went up to the, um, actually, some of the uh, strippers came off the stage and was walking around, you know, kind of touching, just trying to get money or whatever it is. And uh, I immediately noticed that, like, he was scanning and saw a girl and stopped and then started walking toward her. Yeah. You know what I mean? And uh, he seemed to favor the girls. And I mean, he could be bi, to be... too. Oh, you know, you never know. It could, could be a could switch be... hitter. Yeah, it could be, could be a switch hitter, you know what I mean? <laughs> My friend worked at this place called The Cave in uh, Philly. Yeah. And, like, girls would go there for, like, bachelorette parties. Yeah. And there was six different strippers. And my friend was the Italian stallion. He'd come out in the box, like Rocky Balboa, stallion. strip down. All right. Right? And all six of the guys were straight. Yeah. Right? But it was, like, but there was, like, one night was gay, yeah. one night was girls. Right. But they made a fucking shit ton of money. Yeah. Like, he didn't even care. He was dude, like, fuck it. Dude, Bro, the, I mean, he'd come just, home. Yeah. He would come, like, back because he, he was my roommate. Mm -hmm. He'd come back with, like, six grand in a night on a gay night. Wow, that's from like, all the men that's giving rent and yeah. like a couple other things. Yeah, 
Yeah. I mean, well, they, I feel like men are more, I mean, I don't know, but men are more willing to spend money on that type of stuff than I women. Mean, yeah. like, <laughs> sure. Yeah. I, don't, I, mean, I don't know sure. if I could. I mean, he's like, he was like, the, you know, stripping down with guys there and shit. I, I mean, oh, yeah. yeah. That's, that's I don't kind know, of a little, man. you know, a little personal. You got to give area. me more than six grand for that shit. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I couldn't do it. Yeah. Well, six grand a night, you know, some you, people you might. Give me 50, maybe. <laughs> I mean, it's not like he was getting blown or anything. Yeah. He was just walking around in like a, like a, what do you call that? Speedo. G, like a Speedo thing. Yeah. You know, you get down to that. Yeah, yeah. You know they know? have like Speedos and everything. Um, it's funny. They put like a cock ring on, you know what I mean? To make your cock look do. bigger the whole time. Oh, that's yeah. crazy. It'd be true. <laughs> I don't know. But um, when I was like 15 or like before I started that business, um, I would sell jewels and I would sell like jewel pods and stuff like that. And obviously you have to be 18 to do it and stuff like that. But I'd sell it to everyone, like, in school. Mm -hmm. Oh, shit. I know. <laughs> and I'd have my boyfriend who was 18, like, buy them. <laughs> and then yeah. I would, like, sell them to all these people. So I always was, like, and I would sell clothes and, you know, I'd always just mm -hmm. sold stuff. She's a Capricorn. Yeah. Yeah. You know your mic is Workaholics. Well. Capricorns roll. <laughs> <laughs> they do. They do. Yeah. <laughs> and it uh, turns out Aquarius are compatible, right? I guess, right? I don't know any of that stuff. I feel like I everyone know. says, oh, you're compatible with this person, this person, but it's just like... Well, I know that I'm not compatible with Leo. That's bullshit. <laughs>